Leos, it is the Sun Sage back to do your July reading for you guys. Another July reading um, covering sort of the mid-July um, energies that we have coming in. Um, this will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, and those of you connected to Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, if you're a crosswalk. All right, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, happy early birthday, Leos, if you see this towards the end of July. Um, let's see, we're going to get into your reading, your love reading. Um, going to see some energies for you, your person. I'm going to clarify those messages. All right. And then towards the end, we'll get some messages from your person. All right. So what's going on with Leo's? What's going on with Leo's? All right. So your energy, nine of cups. Okay. This is a great energy to be in. I feel like you guys are feeling good right now about things, how things are shaping up in your life. Right. Or either that, or you're just really satisfied and content, even though things are, you know, even, yeah, you guys know it's, you guys are definitely feeling good about how things are shaping up in your life with the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is about a new energy, feeling refreshed, feeling like there's a new beginning here, Ace of Pentacles, feeling, feeling like there is a positive new step that you're taking. Some of you are seeing financial increase. Okay, some of you are seeing um, some sort of positive news um, regarding a business. So this has you feeling really satisfied. All right. What else do we have for Leo's energy? We have the sun. Absolutely. So this is good news. All right. This is good news for you guys. And even good news in your love life with the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. That's what's going on in your life right now. You're dealing with a lot going on in your love life, your person, <clears throat> the sun. You could be connected to another Leo or this is absolutely your energy. I feel like you're feeling... Um, beautiful. I feel like you're glowing. A lot of you could be on vacation right now. A lot of you could be taking time to yourself, spa, spa dates, or some sort of um, energy you have, right? That is just glowing and illuminating. What else do we have for Leos? The six of wands, victory. Okay, come on. You guys pulled through after heartbreak, after being hurt by someone. You pulled through, all right. This three of swords at the bottom of the deck tells me that you guys still have faith and love. You're still believers. Six of uh, six of wands is about triumphing over those hard times, winning despite the 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 um, challenges you experience um, with regard to this connection and this person that you're dealing with. I feel like um, you feel like you're in control. That's what it feels like to me. You're satisfied because you feel like you're in control. You may have felt like you lost control of the connection. You lost control of the person in some way. And now you feel like you have that control back. All right, let's see what's going on for your person, how they're feeling towards the connection. Uh, they have the hangman. Okay, so they have been delayed somewhat. If you're wondering what's going on with them, there have been some delays on their end. Um, two of cups. This is how they're feeling towards the connection. They are getting another look at this connection with you. They are seeing it from a different perspective. Hangman, two of cups. They are looking at this relationship as something that they could have long term, right? The hangman is um, an energy of you'll be there for a while, right? So pair that with the two of cups. It's like you guys have either been going through this for a long time with this person, Pisces energy showing up, or this person is pretty much okay. Yeah, temperance with the time it's going to take to sort of get this relationship healed. They want resolution with you, Leos, okay? This temperance lets me know that this person is not satisfied with how things are right now. They are clear in their decision that they want resolution, even if they're giving off an emotionally detached energy, sort of emotionally unavailable. We see with the two of cups, they are emotionally attached to you at the very at the least, right? So I feel like you're connected to somebody. This could be why you're feeling good, right? You have somebody who somehow they've shown you that they want to make this work. They've shown you that they want to, you know, they're seeing things. They could be seeing things from your perspective. And that's why you're feeling this victory like you want. Um, like whatever you did, um, if you had to pull your energy away, if you had to regain control because you lost that control, whatever you did, it shook this person up and made them change their perspective, right? And so now they're seeing this relationship with you in a whole new light, 
Okay, this is mutual feelings. Whatever you're feeling for your person, they're feeling for you. Okay, so I'm going to get some more energies for Leos. What do we have? How you're feeling towards this person, towards this connection, Leos. Um, two of Swords, okay? So you guys are not putting in any more action into this. You have suspended action in this um, energy. And so that's put the pressure on your person, right? They have to make some sort of movement towards you. The Two of Swords lets me know you are cautious now. You are not going to take any steps forward until you know, you feel like you, you don't need to do anything else. Like you've done all the work that you need to do. You also have the devil uh, Capricorn energy showing up um, in your energy. And we also have the Hierophant. Okay. So how you're feeling towards this connection with this two of swords, this devil and this Hierophant, it feels like you're having a spiritual awakening, right? This connection felt really sort of surrounded by negative vibes or something about it was, was holding you back because this person didn't feel trustworthy or their vibes were off with this two of swords. You were stopping yourself. The devil, there's this, 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 this cloud, this uncertainty about this person, right? I feel like you wanted to be clear that you weren't codependent on them in their energy, that you didn't need them for sort of validation, that you could um, be okay with or without them. The Hierophant tells me that you have um, sort of seen that this connection is going to have its good and its bad moments. And when it has its bad moments, you need to take your energy away, right? There's no need to argue. There's no need to sort of get into this because this five of wands has shown up twice at the bottom of the deck for you guys, Leo. So I feel like you may have been at odds with your person. I feel like they may have made you feel like you were in competition with somebody else for their heart. And that made you look at this person as a negative energy, right? As somebody who was bringing negativity into your life. Um, the Hierophant tells me that this is definitely one of those connect, especially next to the devil. It's going to your feelings about this connection or your how you are with this person. At times it goes from feeling really um, codependent and um, really sort of bad vibes one minute to feeling really spiritual and really soulmate uh, centered the next, you know, the next minute. So there is a balance here that needs to be had in this relationship so that it's not too excessive. Sometimes um, the nine of cups represents um, indulging and excessive you know, behavior. And I feel like, um, you may have felt almost like you were obsessed with your person. Like you had to check their social media or you had to check on them or see something like you just always had to be, but you're, you're, you're holding yourself back from being like that, right? With the strength you're being patient. Okay. You're being patient and that's your energy as well. What do we, what else do we have for Leo's person? How they're feeling towards the connection, Ace of Cups. All right. So they're definitely seeing you in a different light, the world, all right? Um, you guys could be connecting to a Sag, Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, the moon, Pisces energy again. Um, I feel like your person wants to come out of the dark with you. They want to, they feel like they have been left in the dark. They don't have your light shining down on them. They want to see if you guys can pull through this situation that you're dealing with right now. Um, with this devil energy, this two of swords and this devil energy tells me that something went too far. Okay, something went too far and your energy, Leo, has kind of been like, do I want to throw myself into this situation again? And a lot of you making the decision that if I do, it has to be an elevated connection. It can't be casual. It can't be any more of this uncertainty. We have to commit. We have to commit. It has to be certain. And I feel like your person is on the same page, but they do have secrets over here. The world tells me that... Um, with the Ace of Cups and the world, I feel like this is a love that they have. They feel like this is final, right? Like you're the you're the person for them. Like they don't need to look anymore. All right. This is a new love or a new feeling of love that your person is having and they're wanting to savor this. Um, they do still have some secrets. What is this? Um, let's see what this nine of cups is for you, Leos. It's the queen of swords. Yeah, you're getting your way because you are in the queen of swords energy. 
All right. So you did something that, you know, you had to do for yourself. You could have, like I said, cut this person off. Stop giving your energy to this person. OK, you could have asked some questions, got some answers that you needed. This Queen of Swords doesn't play. OK, the Queen of Swords is not about um, heart over your your head. This is about head over heart decisions. Even though you love this person, even though you want to be with this person and commit to this person, they have some shady behavior with this devil energy over here. Um, let's see. What's this devil tower? Yeah, definitely shady behavior that caused the breakdown of this relationship. Okay, that caused a breakup, a shakeup or something that just it it's it made you see this person in a different like devil energy again, Capricorn. All right, you guys could be connected to a Capricorn. Scorpio energy showing up, Queen of Swords, um Libra. What's this victory? What's this Six of Wands for Leos? How they're feeling? Ace of Swords. Yep, you face your truth. You're living your truth, right? So if you felt like you had to hide parts of yourself, Leos, or if you felt like you were not able to be yourself with this person because you were walking on eggshells just so they could, you know, be sat, uh, just so they could be comfortable. You're like, no, I'm breaking out of my comfort zone and I'm making myself happy. Nine of Cups. I'm doing what I want to do. I don't want to cater to you because when I did, you weren't appreciative of it. So I'm going to face my truth. Ace of Swords. This is how you, this is how you've regained your power. The Ace of Swords is power, right? By speaking your truth and living your truth. There were some things you could have been holding back because you didn't want to shake the table too much in this relationship, right? You just wanted to keep your person around. You wanted to make sure this person didn't see you as combative. You're no longer concerned about that. You're like, if I need to let you go, I can do that. Right. You guys are definitely feeling like you're at a crossroads in this connection and you're choosing between sort of that or you feel like you have to choose between that devil energy with this person or this hierophant. You feel like it's, if this person doesn't uh, shape up, they're out the door. Six of Cups with the Two of Swords. Right. Um, Some of you don't want to go back to the past. All right. So if this is about an X. Sometimes the Two of Swords makes kind of that X <laughs> symbol, like saying no to your ex. Um, you don't want to go back to the past. So this connection or another has to evolve. It has to be better than the last one, or it has to be something that is more beneficial and more fulfilling for you than the last thing with the Six of Cups here. Focus on the past. Um, nostalgia. You could be having dreams about this person. They have Pisces energy over here, so they could be dreaming about you too, Leos. What's this higher font for Leos? How they feel towards this connection and their person? Ten of Swords, all right? So this is about faith, okay? This is about faith. You feel like this person betrayed you. You feel like your person betrayed you. A lot of you are feeling like they, they stabbed you in the back. Um, this is where you are right now, feeling that sort of when you're by yourself or when you have disconnected from this person, that's when you're feeling your best. When you start to entertain being with them again or start to entertain them being in your life, you start to remember this Ten of Swords energy that they put you through, the dishonesty, the lies, the heartbreak, right? The ending. But the Hierophant is kind of prevailing over that, the faith that you have in this relationship. Um, this is definitely a soul connection. I feel that for both you and your person, they have the cups, the two of cups, the ace of cups. Right now, Leo, your focus feel like, feels like it's mainly on yourself. And if this person is interested in you, you're making them come to you. And your person feels like their focus is on you. And if they want you, they have to come get you. All right, so I'm going to see what this uh what this sun energy is for you guys cuz that's you shining and glowing. Um also, you know, good news. You can receive a message or some sort of I feel like this relationship is about to have a a rebirth. <laughs> okay, I had a couple come out. I'm going to do that again, but that king of swords was showing up. Yeah, your person, even if they're acting like they don't care, even if they're acting emotionally unavailable, they're hooked on you, magician. Yeah, you're feeling super powerful. Um, for those of you for this, who this applies, you've done some divination work, you've done some spell work. Um, I see mainly for yourself, um, you could have made, um, something you've done has drawn people to you, made you, um, attractive to people and made your energy something you have done. <laughs> okay. Leo, something you have done 
has made you very sort of irresistible, right? And so your person is seeing this. What's this hangman for your person, Leos? The Four of Pentacles, all right? So yeah, they they are... Your person is one of those people who does not like to take action in situations, right? They like to hold on to things. They don't like change. That's what I'm getting. Your person does not like change. But we have the world over here signifying that there has to be change in order for them to have you, right? They do not like to change. The Four of Pentacles is stubborn, right? It's holding on. It's kind of selfish energy. Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Your person could have their own sort of um, issues with their ego, or this could be them and you being in their energy. What is this Two of Cups for your person? Leo's the Chariot, all right? So we're in Cancer season right now. Um... For some of you, you are Cancer Leo Cusp because those energies are here. There's there's definitely a, a energy here that your person is wanting to connect on a deeper level. They know that that's the only thing that's going to move this relationship forward. Okay, they're definitely connecting to you or wanting to connect to you on a deeper level. Um, it's like they're surrendering to this, but they're not. OK, there's a little bit of resistance in your person because they're stubborn temperance. They want to heal how things are between you right now. Ten of wands. OK, they feel stressed. I feel like a lot of them feel a lot of guilt. They need you to absolve them of that guilt and to um, accept apology if that's coming. I'm not really seeing that. Um, Ace of Cups could be apology. It's definitely a new start, which can start with I'm sorry. I want to do this differently. Let's have a new beginning. Um, I want to share, you know, be more expressive about my feelings for you. What's this Ace of Cups for Leo's person? The sun, you. Yeah, they want to share their feelings with you. They want to be open and expressive with you. This good news, this sun that I said was good news over here in your energy, this is them bringing you the news of their love for you. Okay, they can't hold it back anymore. They've been really stubborn, really selfish, holding this back. And that's been delaying this connection. They have not shared their feelings with you. And so at some point, Leos, you gave up. You gave up. You were like, I'm done with the past. I'm done with thinking about you, dreaming about you, wanting this, this soulmate connection with you. If you don't want this, fine. All right. To a certain extent, you were obsessing over this connection because there was no resolve here. And you were just trying to figure out what was going on with this person, the world. OK, if they have you, they feel like they're accomplished. They feel like they've um, they feel like that's like a big look hangman again with the world. There's something about if they have you, they would feel complete. OK, they would feel like they don't need anyone else. The hangman is like, they can do this forever, right? They can stay in this position forever, all right? They've seen this relationship in a different way. If you guys have been going through this connection with this person for a long time, you've had some good moments and some bad moments and the bad moments, it feels like it's really just over, over <laughs> with the tower. This person is very patient, right? They're, they are They are the type of person who can let time pass and sort of um, regain their passion and their feelings for you. I see mostly emotions over here, right? Not a lot of passion. So th not that they're not passionate about you, but what I feel is that your person is tapping more into what they feel for you in their heart, as opposed to how you make their body feel, right? Lust. Okay. Um, for some of you, you feel like lust was a big part of the problem over here with the devil and your energy and the tower. It created this really explosive relationship where there was a lot of chemistry, a lot of sexual heat, but there wasn't a healthy balance of emotional fulfillment. OK, and so I feel like your person is tapping into this emotional fulfillment. They're probably going really deep to try to figure out how to make this situation work with the moon. That is something that you don't know because the moon is secret. It's something that you don't know is happening, but it's happening. The King of Pentacles. OK, something that you don't know about your person, Leo's, is that they could be um, they could look Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. All right. So this person is. I feel like they're going to start wearing their heart on their sleeve. They're going to make a big offer to you. 
All right, this offer with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is serious. They don't play about their family, about their partners, about their money. All right, this isn't some in and out energy. We don't have any knights over here for your person. And the one queen that we have over here for you, I'll put these together. We have the Queen of Swords with the King of Pentacles. All right, or rather let's do it like this. You know, they know that you're upset with them right now. Okay, they know that you're upset in that Queen of Swords energy and that you, you've had to put your boundaries up, but there's still a lot of love between you guys. There's still a lot of affection here that you want to share with each other. They are knowing that they are the ones that have to open up. You're done opening up in this situation. So this King of Pentacles has a big offer to make you. Let me see what this uh, King of Pentacles energy is. What is this offer? What is this offer from a King of Pentacles? This is longevity. I feel like you are connected to somebody who has a lot of longevity, seven of swords, willing to do whatever it takes. Okay. I feel like this person again, and I think this was kind of in your last energy, the moon, and then we have the seven of swords clarifying that your person, there's something very secretive about them. It's not going to go away anytime soon. There are lies that they have told. There are secrets that they have kept. Okay, so that is going to take their whatever they're doing or whatever they're about to come to you with this offer. They're hoping that it's good enough that you'll forget about their lies or good enough that you'll forget about these secrets. As the Queen of Swords, you're sharper than that, though, right? Because you're going to be asking a lot of questions. You don't want to get back into this Ten of Swords energy where you feel like the relationship has failed because this person over here was not being honest. They have all the good aspects of wanting to be in a relationship with you, two of cups, ace of cups, and um, even the world, temperance, right? Wanting to solve you guys' problems that you guys have, okay? So I'm going to get some messages from your person, Leo, and see what comes through, what they wanna say to you, all right? What does Leo's person wanna say to them? All right, we have I fucked up. Yep. That moon over here tells me everything I know, especially with the seven of swords. They lied. They were deceitful. They were playing games over here. All right, what else does your person want to say? I'm in love with you, even if I can't say it. The sun and the ace of cups, I feel like for a lot of you, actually, you're actually going to hear this person say those words. Because like I said, you have the sun in your energy about maybe receiving some good news or just something that's going to make you feel all good and lovey-dovey on the inside. And this sun with this ace of cups tells me that the news could be coming from this person, right? I'm in love with you, even if I haven't shown it, even if I haven't said it. You have the magician as well. It's like whatever you Whatever spell you put on this person, literally or figuratively, it's working because they cannot resist you. What else do we have? Messages from your person. I choose you. Okay, so they're choosing you. Like I said, this King of Pentacles is very picky about who they want to be with. Okay, because first of all, they prioritize their material success first. And then they find someone that they can, the King of Pentacles doesn't necessarily choose the Queen of Pentacles, okay? The King of Pentacles just wants to be secure in himself. And then they want to make sure they have somebody who's uh, happy with them and secure with them, right? Um, the King of Pentacles also sometimes will occasionally need like somebody to um, keep their ego in check. Right. Um, they can be kind of superficial and materialistic and, and be unbalanced, imbalanced in that way where they're not doing enough with um, handling their emotions and dealing with their emotional side. And they're just dealing with the material side. So they need someone to sort of keep them in check. Right. And you're showing up as our queen of swords. What else do we have from your person? You see right through me, queen of swords. You get straight to the truth, to, to the heart of things with this person. This showed up with the nine of cups. So it's representing that this is your, this is how you've always wanted to be. This is what you've always wanted to be able to get the truth out of people, right? Why is it so hard for people to tell the truth? You do have somebody over here who's been very misleading and who has told you lies and who has not been honest and who has kept secrets. But as the queen of swords, you know, showing up in that energy, you're kind of getting what you want out of this person. All right, Leos. So that is what I have for you guys. I hope that resonates. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and make sure you check out the details in the description box for our personal reading. All right, thanks.